there's this philosophy and like it's so true the top 10 percent is top 10 percent for a reason and, I, and we've we've you've had close friends from back in the day i have a close friends you have a close friends but the reality is if you're actually trying to level up and you want to become a 10 percent inevitably the odds are not in your favor you're not going to stick with the same close friends your entire life if you're trying to become that 10 yeah, yeah. statistically 10 percent one out of 10 people that means in every friend group of 10 people there's going to be one guy that makes it statistically yeah. So what's, what's like a last message, a mindset message, something that you would tell the world, something you tell either a young guy or an old guy um, in real estate, outside of real estate? What is one thing that like, listen, th this is this is something that I've been taught and this is what works. If, if wherever the resistance is, go. I like that. Mm. Wherever the resistance is, go. If you're being told not to do something, do it. You wow. Know? Um, that's what's got me the furthest in life. I was told not to do social media. I did it. I was told not to get real estate. I did it. Mm -hmm. I was you were told, told not to do social media. I was told not to join this brokerage. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Why? By Reddit? Some some Karen, some, and, some Karen no, on Reddit I, I, said. I look at that shit like consciously. One hundred percent. And I'm like, okay, this is, these are the signs. 10%, 10%, the ninety percent. Yeah, and the ten percent. You know, there's a reason. Exactly. Why there's this ten percent because the herd goes this way. So you want to be going the other way. Yeah. As hard as it is, you're gonna lose friends. You're gonna lose. Yeah. You know, I might have conflict with family. So wait a minute. But, I like this losing friends one. Yeah, I like you're gonna lose friends. Have you yeah. lost friends? I've lost touch. Uh huh. Right? Is it because you're busy, or is it because they don't like what you're doing? You know, it, it's you. You just grow quicker than them. And there's a there's a gap that's built that's created yeah. when you're in your own growth journey, right? You met that person maybe at like 21. I knew this guy. We're the yeah. same yeah. mentality wise. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna over the years. I'm developing, developing, developing. If that person doesn't want to change, they're gonna be either. Um, it's like. A subconscious feeling of th threat, mm -hmm. like a threat, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. look at this guy or, or envy, right? And there's mm. going to be some animosity after that naturally that's just created. It is yeah. what it is. It yeah. just happens. So it's unfortunate, like your closest friends aren't going to be your number Absolutely. one fans or supporters. You know, so the true. most random people are the ones supporting you. Yeah. And I those agree. are the people that are that you're meeting along that journey. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So just surround yourself with. Yeah. Like the is best it, possible. Is it people. true that the, the, your closest business partners now were not your friends from childhood? 100%. They're strangers that you met Most along the, your entrepreneurship journey my, and personal development journey. My, group of, my boys love them to death. Um, it's it's like a full circle moment where it's, I had, we're, we, we grew up in the bubble, bubble in Vaughn. Vaughn yeah, was a bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, we all talk the same, dress the same, look the same. Uh huh. <laughs> Yo, straight up. It's a fact. Yo, anywhere you're from. Yeah, yeah sure, bro. <laughs> Let's drop the little bit of jokes. Are you Italian? <laughs> Yeah, I am Italian. Italian. Yeah, yeah. Is that a, is that a, is that a <laughs> no? Joke? It's just uh, is it all Italians in 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 in, in Vaughn? Exactly. Yeah? yeah, yeah. A lot of Italians yeah. in Vaughn. Um, yeah. So I started to branch out and started to hang out with different groups. Yeah. And instantly, like in the beginning, they're like, oh, like joking, playing with me, like, oh, like you have other friends now, blah mm -hmm. blah. blah. Mm -hmm. I knew I needed to hop out of my, yeah. my comfort zone. Mm. And um, it got to a point where I got really distant from them because I got too lost in the sauce. And in order to ground myself, I made it a point last year to like really get reconnected with them with your yeah. and now a lot of them are actually you know some of them are asking me for help because uh, it's real full circle no in general oh, just, just in life, just general life. and they because they they they're trying to make a change now too uh, so that's like it's really nice for me like it feels good because yeah, of here course i am to like help your people I've, I've done it and now i can show you and now how i can to do show it. you yeah. yeah and i want nothing more than for these right guys right, right of course yeah. i'm the type of guy bro if i'm i'm making three billion dollars i'm taking everyone with me in life I, all my closest i people. love that man you know what i mean i agree so um were some of the people yeah. that are asking you for help now, were those some people judging you back in the day and told you not to do what you're doing? Yes. When you first started? 100%. Full circle. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's funny. That's what I call. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. That's just life. Yeah. There, there's there's this philosophy and like it's so true. The top 10% is top 10% for a reason. And I, and we've, we've you've had close friends from back in the day. I have a close friends. You have a close friends. But the reality is if you're actually trying to level up and you want to become a 10%, inevitably the odds are not in your favor you're not going to stick with the same close friends your entire life if you're trying to become that 10 percent yeah, yeah. statistically 10 percent one out of 10 people that means in every friend group of 10 people there's going to be one guy that makes it statistically yeah. statistically yeah. you're not bringing all nine some people just don't want it that bad mm -hmm. some people just don't have it like that mm -hmm. so you're if you want to get get somewhere you want to make build something big statistically you're gonna have to move through friend groups and people say call it social climbing no i want to i want to do something big yeah people are and if you're not gonna man. come people are gonna hate they're right gonna, they're gonna do whatever they can to bring you back down yeah and you right? can like you said you can love you can love the guys but you know it comes full circle if you want to if you want to help them out and they don't they don't have it in them you go be that leader you go do something big and then maybe you can help them out later right? the proof is in the pudding man you, you get the most like these full circle moments happen when 
people that have chirped or said like, oh, like you're an idiot, why are you doing this shit? After watching you succeed, now they're like, hey, I want to be a part of it. Yeah. That's dope. Right? Yeah, it's just that, that whole attraction. But I love it when that life. happens. Yeah. Honestly, like uh, to me, that's like one of the coolest things. Yeah. When when you start seeing success and people around you like, hey, like the the idea. And by, by the way, it, uh, I'll, I'll share the story. I, I have a friend of mine. Actually, I have a lot of friends that can I, I left in touch. I was a very social kid. Like when I was younger, I had like I, I'm one of these kids that had a billion friends. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I make friends. And I was just like, just make friends to make friends. At this point, I intentionally make friends uh, um, that would support my mission, I would say, or somebody that I can be supported in, in, I guess, in their mission, um, something that can be beneficial for both. But I have a friend of mine um, that wanted to help in crypto, and this is like a couple of years ago, right right when the when the market was, was going up, and um, he, his ego just wouldn't allow him to, to do so. Mm-hmm. And he lost almost like 50 Gs, man. Like, and I'm not talking lost as in, oh, he just invested in Bitcoin. And because that's whatever. You have the money in Bitcoin. You have a couple of Bitcoins. It's, you can write it out and get your money back. I'm talking he just make some, made some wrong moves. He traded some. Yeah. He, like, bought Red Bull. Some, yeah, bought some BS stuff. Like, these the BS coins. You know, like, oh, this coin's going to yeah. go to this. is go, This yeah, is the yeah, next yeah. Shiba. And yeah. it's, just, it's just money is completely gone. And, um, like, his ego didn't allow him to, to ask. For me... I'm always an, an asker. Like, if I don't know anything, I'll, I'll oh. ask around. Like, I'm, I'm a guy that would ask for anything. Like, even if there's a script that I can't... Hey, Vlad, can you just help me with this, bro? Because I know this is not my strong suit. And even if yeah. something I don't understand it, I don't, I don't act like I know. Just yeah. leverage yeah. your resources. Yeah. That's the leverage best way to your be. resources. Everyone... Yeah, that, that, but that's because... That's it's you're, the best way to be. The ego doesn't exist for you. Yeah. The, the, the problem is in school, you're sitting at a desk alone writing a test by yourself. But in the real world, you have a whole team. You have mm-hmm. Every, mm-hmm. the whole yeah. world at your fingertips in the real leverage, world. Leverage you're not, the real world is you're not sitting there. at a desk by yourself and, and you can't look around. No, no, no. Like, you have the whole world at your fingertips. Yeah. And the best pe- the most successful people are resource every, uh, all, you know, leverage all the resources they have. I agree. That's I go, why I like MLM because the culture. It's true. Yeah. I learned so much by just being around in those rooms, yeah. you know, yeah, in, yeah. in the beginning of that journey. Yeah. And now I'm back in a similar culture, which is fantastic. 